painting in confined spaces. You must always, if well, you need to go into a confined space. You first of all, you need an entry permit. This will tell you all the conditions. You need usually, if for example, you're going into a separator, the separator must be either spaded or all the elbows must be swung 90 degrees so there is absolutely nothing connected to it. No possibility anything can come in. Then you need to have an adequate air supply. The fact that it's open doesn't mean to say there's enough in it, air in there for you to breathe. Depends how many people are going to be in. You need to make sure there's an air supply. Normally, the safety department will put a fan at one end and an extractor at the other end, and they will have a continued circulation of air going through the vessel. <coughs> this makes sure that you're safe. Light, you need adequate light. Be careful with the lights. Even a cracked glass on an air-driven light has got a heat source where the bulb is. It can cause an explosion if you're doing any painting or chemical cleaning inside. If you're painting or chemical cleaning, you need to wear an appropriate mask, maybe a breathing apparatus, maybe a wander lead with air. Always check what you need. You need a standby man. Every man inside must have a man outside. So if there are five people inside, you need five people in the vicinity outside. Because one man can only rescue one man. He can't rescue five. They must have radio. They must be in touch with the control room at all times in case anything happens so they can get more help. They must have a gas detector with them. They must have an oxygen detector with them. They must have safety harnesses and ropes. There are 101 things that you need to check, but every one of them is important. Every one of them is vital to you surviving to go home tonight. That's the end of the story. You come to work in the morning fit, healthy. We want you to go home at night in the same state. Maybe you can, can share this, this story where the glass from the torch has been <coughs> broken. No? Yes, we had a case where a man was killed. He was in a paint inspector. In the night, they had been painting inside of a separator that was under refurbishment. And they finished the painting job and they left. And the inspector came to check it. So he was in the hatch. His head and shoulders were inside the vessel. The rest of his body was outside. He pulled his light up to inspect the paint. And unnoticed by him, he knocked the glass and it cracked. Some gas was fumes were still inside the vessel and they ignited from the bulb. There was an explosion and the flames had to get out. The only place to get out was the hatch. He was in the hatch. He ended up with 92% burns to his body. About the only things that weren't burnt were the soles of his feet. His clothes were gone and the skin was already running off of him like like big blisters. Terrible to see. And he died. He died three days later. Nothing that we could do. Absolutely nothing. Be careful. Make sure that your equipment is working. Make sure it's looked after. <laughs>